Hello, it's Matt. And in this video, we're going to look at how to share lists in Microsoft To Do. So I'm starting out on Windows in the To Do app. And I wanted to show you first what a list looks like after it's been shared. So I've got this one called Website here, and I'm logged in as Alex. And you can see to the right hand side of the list name, there's a little icon denoting that it's been shared. Then if I open the list up and come to the far right hand side, you're going to see another icon. And if I hover over it, it'll tell you that it's been shared and how many people it's been shared with. If you click on it, it's going to take you to the sharing settings. And you can see here that Alex is the owner and Megan is the person that it's been shared with. Beneath that, you can grab a link to the list and you can share that with anybody you like. So you can copy the link, which will put it into the clipboard where you can cut and paste it into an email or to a message. And then you've also got a share button which will take you to your local contact store, whatever that might be. In this case, because I'm on Windows, it's mail. If I wanted to knock Megan off here, I could just press the cross button to remove her. And I can also manage sharing by going to the more options button. And I've got two options here. One is to limit the access to current members. So if I toggle this off, that's going to ask me whether I want to limit access to current members, meaning that the sharing link that I just showed you is invalidated, it just means it won't be accessible anymore. And only the people who already have access can access the list. So if I press limit access here, it's going to um, take away my ability to share the link. You see the link's gone from both, both of those areas. And uh, to bring it back, I just hit on again, toggle off, and I get my invitation link and I can also copy my link again. So the last option I've got here is to stop sharing altogether. I press that, it's gonna want me to confirm that I want to stop sharing, and then it's gonna take away the sharing altogether, and you can see that the icons have gone from the, the list name and on the list itself. All right, so let's go to another list and I'll show you how you set that up. So I'm gonna go to the plus button on the right-hand side here, and it's gonna prompt me to create an invitation link. So I click on the blue button and you can see now I've got a link here and I've got the copy link button and the share button. So just as I showed you before. So if I copy this link, it's now copied to clipboard, I can show you what that looks like to someone else when they open it. I'm going to switch over to Chrome here, paste in the link. You see I've been asked to join the list and it said that Alex is sharing the groceries list with me. And because I'm already logged in, you can see down here I'm signed in as Megan. Now if I wasn't logged in, it would ask me to sign in. And there's one limitation here I should call out, is that you can only share between Office 365 accounts or Microsoft consumer accounts. So you can share Outlook.com to Outlook.com or Xbox.com to Hotmail.com. But if it's an Office 365 account, you can't share with those accounts. So they're completely separate at the moment. So when I'm logged in as Megan, all I have to do is click join list and then I open the list and then I can see the list. You see I've got groceries over here. Now if I click on the share button, I've got the option to copy the link so I can share it or I can leave the list. And if I add an item to the list and then I switch to Alex's view in the to-do app, he's going to see the update immediately. And also because to do is tightly integrated with Outlook, if Alex goes to his Outlook, he's also going to see the new update in that list as well. So in this video, we looked at list sharing in Microsoft to do.